Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on output contribution of the industrial sector in the Ethiopian economy. In your previous non-plasma lesson, I hope you've learned more about the arguments of the industrial sector versus the rest of the economic sectors. We discussed the arguments of the industrial sector versus the rest of the economic sector. The arguments include the development argument, the employment argument, the balance of payment argument, the linkage argument, the saving and surplus argument. From our discussion in Unit 1, as stated in the GTP document, I hope you remember that the share of the industrial sector to national GDP in 2009-10 was 12.9%. We also discussed that until recently, the manufacturing sector has been the dominant contributor to total industrial output. During the period 1991-92 to 1997-98, the manufacturing subsector dominated the Ethiopian industrial sector, providing more than 57% of the sectoral output. In 2009-10, as indicated in the GTP document, the share of the manufacturing subsector declined to 39.6% due to the boom in the construction industry that caused an increase in the share of the construction subsector. Students, now I want you to do the first activity. I want you to describe the meaning or characteristics of manufacturing as an economic activity. Do the activity individually in three minutes.
Have you defined the meaning and characteristics of manufacturing? Very good. Now, let's see it together. The manufacturing subsector is characterized by the physical or chemical transformation of raw materials or components into new products. The transformation could take place in a factory or in the worker's home. It could also happen through power-driven or hand-driven machines. Now, I want you to answer a question by discussing it with the students sitting next to you. You have three minutes to answer the question. Here is the question. What are the major industrial groups of the manufacturing subsector? I hope you've identified and listed some of the industrial groups. Generally, the major industrial groups produce both food and non-food items. Let's see the major industrial groups. The major industrial groups include food and beverages, leather and footwear, wood and furniture, paper and printing, chemicals, non-metals, and metals. Students, with the meaning and major groups of the manufacturing sector we just saw as a background, we can now discuss the contribution of each industrial group to the output of the manufacturing sector and its share in percentages. The gross value of output, which is abbreviated 
as GVO is in thousands of burr and the share is in percentages. The food and beverages industrial group produces an output that amounts to approximately 8,751,000 burr. It contributes to 47.9% of total industrial output. The non-metal industrial group produces an output that amounts to approximately 3,068,000 burr. It contributes to 16.8% of total industrial output. The chemicals industrial group produces an output that amounts to approximately 1,733,000 burr. It contributes to 9.4% of total industrial output. Leather and footwear group produces an output that amounts to approximately 1,447,000 burr. It contributes to 7.9% of total industrial output. Students, so far we have seen four of the industrial groups. Now let's discuss the contribution of the least four contributors. The paper and printing industrial group produces an output that amounts to approximately 1 billion and 236 million burr. It contributes to 6.7% of total industrial output. The metals industrial group produces an output that amounts to approximately 1 billion and 203 million burr. It contributes to 6.5% of total industrial output. The textiles industrial group produces an output that amounts to approximately 694 million burr. It contributes to 3.7% of total industrial output. The wood and furniture industrial group produces an output that amounts to approximately 119 million burr. It contributes to 0.6% of total industrial output. To make the comparison of the relative share of the major industrial groups easier, let's have a look at the following graph. As you can see from the figure, the food and beverages industrial group was the largest contributor to total industrial output in 2007-8, followed by non-metals and chemicals. The three industrial groups, namely the food and beverages, non-metals and chemicals industrial groups together accounted for more than 74% of the sector's total gross value of output in the year 2007-8. On the other hand, metals, paper and printing, wood and furniture, and textile are the least contributing industrial groups. Students, based on the observation we have made from the previous graph, I want you to do the third activity individually. Here is the question for the activity. You have three minutes. Which of the least developed industrial groups are strategic for national economic development? And why are they considered as strategic? These industrial groups will be displayed on the television screen for you.
I hope you've enjoyed doing the activity. Among the industrial groups that contributed less to total industrial output, metal and textile are strategic to national economic development. This is because metals are essential inputs in construction and thus infrastructure development in Ethiopia. Thus, Domestic production of metals reduces cost of construction, facilitates infrastructural development, and saves foreign currency through import substitution. Students, before I wind up today's lesson, let me summarize the main points. We discussed that in 2007-8, food and beverage non-metals and chemicals industrial groups contributed the significant share of the total gross value of industrial output. Strategic outputs such as metal and textile products have low contribution to the total gross value of industrial output. This brings us to the end of today's lesson. In our next lesson, we will learn about the employment contribution of the industrial sector. See you in our next program. Until then, goodbye teacher and goodbye students.